Hi everyone, um, this is Dee Dee and I am just being real today. Um, if, every, if any of you have ever dealt with this, I'm sure someone in their lifetime have. Um, obviously, we're here together because we're sensitives um, and I do label myself as an empath. I'm sure you are too and that's why you're here listening um i my whole life is dealing with narcissists um i grew up in a narcissist family um and over the years it took me a long time to learn how to love myself and tell myself that i am worthy and I am loved. I am not a reflection of someone else's reaction towards me. You have to remember that. You are not what they tell you you are. That is a reflection of themselves because they cannot feel. They blame others for their lack of their own integrity, their own how do I say this? They want someone else to be responsible for themselves that they can't hold. Um, uh, they're just self-centered. They only think about themselves. They don't... Uh, they don't care about how you feel, basically. That's the bottom line regardless it's they trick you to make you feel that um they care but that's manipulation uh you have to find that discernment of do they walk the talk you have to pay attention to those details that's today what i'm going to talk about is whew, it's a little heavy on me today, but I had this, what I'm saying here is I've dug deep and this is where I am going to help you to figure this out too. Um, learning this tool is sitting down and go within your thoughts, your feelings, and to be in touch with it and ask those questions of what am I feeling today? What am I going to do about it? What am I controlling? Am I controlling that external or am I controlling that? When I mean by external, like am I controlling how they act? towards me or am I not in control with my own feelings like you have every right to um, control how you you only can control yourself that's what I'm saying um, so um, let me take you back to what I'm saying here is that I live with a self-centered self-minded um, roommate and he's not aware of what his actions is um, meaning he's not mindful he's not he's not in touch with his feelings and, and I get I understand that there, there will be a lot of I'm sorry I'm, I'm speaking to on a women's point of view um, there will be a lot of men who will because they were, what's the right word to say here? They're not in touch with their feminine side um, because society taught them to suppress them. So they don't know how to um, communicate. They're action oriented. So my point here is that my roommate is very reactionary. Like 
you have to tell him specifically what to do um, because he does not have the brain cells to find those connections of A plus B means C. You know, there's that order or sometimes A, C to D. You know, like you, you have to do that, that thinking, you know. Um, he's very black and white and so um, So it took me a long time to um, to be in touch with that feeling that it was heavy on me, it's not healthy on me, and how to bring that to light so that I could have this peace of mind. Um, this is a situation where uh, you can't leave, too, so it's a lesson. Um, and you know what? We're human. We have to accept that. So what I'm saying here is I'm learning to s practice the tools that I've learned over the years is set your boundaries. Always have that integrity. But then I'm also learning this time around is am I controlling the outcome? Am I controlling him because he's not treating me correctly? And that's what I thought was boundaries. But what I'm learning here is I'm actually controlling someone that doesn't even know what he's doing. That that his actions are reflecting his bad, um, what he's learned or what he hasn't learned in his past year. And I don't know his situation. Um, He's never learned how to be, you know, live with someone or show someone love, you know, or how to show someone love. So this is where you have to hold, like step back and forgive them for what they don't know. They don't know that they're wrong. I shouldn't say wrong that they don't know that they're treating you disrespectfully or you know and they think that they're in the right it's because they they haven't experienced what that is so how can we fault them if they don't know that right so um i had to really step back and say I get it. He's not at that level of where you are. You got to remember that. Everyone learns at a different pace. And I may be like, say, I'm just going to give an example. I'm at an eight and he's at a three. So you can't meet someone halfway if the level is three and an eight. <laughs> um, I mean, you can... I mean, of course, there's other ways of having a conversation, um, and there's different ways of talking to a male, and that's probably another topic to talk about. Um, I'm no expert, but believe me, I've gone through a share fair of my male communication and trying to learn how they think and speak, um, oh. how we think, and... We can't control others. They have the responsibility to change themselves. But if they don't hear you, see you, or make you feel understood, and they're not trying, that's where you have to step back, hold your ground, and walk away. Okay, there are times where you can't walk away like my situation right now where it's the pandemic <laughs> you know um moving is not ideal for me right now um so it's asking yourself is 
bringing that awareness to yourself. What am I controlling? What are you going to do about it? Um, what sort of vibrational practice? Um, and who you're going to talk to or who you're going to stop talking to? Because I've stopped talking to a lot of people that I felt the vibration was off. Um, because if they don't see you, why do you want to put out the energy to make them see you when they don't see you? Right? Why push it? Find someone else that will love you, see you, hear you, and make you understood. Be around high vibrational people. Um... Especially the pandemic, right? We need to be around supportive people. I know it's hard. It is. Um, so what I'm saying is stop fighting that resistance of when people don't respect you, see your boundaries. It's because they, they can't see their own reflections of their own shadows, of their own past. Um, it's their time it's not your responsibility it's not for you to hold their lack thereof um, that was a wake up call for me truly it was a wake up call it was I living with my roommate has gotten me to a zero <laughs> I wouldn't say a zero a three and that's my point don't stoop down to their level that uh, they will drain your energy um, raise that vibration get outside find those people that will love and support you uh, what works for me is taking a walk in nature exercising or just being in the sun sometimes you see what I'm trying to do here <laughs> um, I'm at my friend's office um, to get some space um, which is great it's nice and quiet here it's a dentist's office no one's here today um, but if you want to speak to me um, I'll put my contact down below and We'll figure this out. I'll help you figure it out. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.